Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing today. Heavyweight Boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I'm anticipating this upcoming heavyweight match between Arslan Back Makhmadov and uh, Carlos Takam. And I'm just sitting back looking at some training footage of both of these guys right now. It seems like Makhmadov is going to be prepared for anything that Carlos Takam tries to bring as far as a mid-range type of fight. As you see him here, he's working on a little short one power or one punch power shots, the, the right uppercut, the left and right hooks, those type of little short movements that I know Takam's going to try to do to work his way on the inside so he can land some body work and uh, try to be effective on the inside. And you look at Carlos Takam, look at his training footage, it's just normal Carlos Takam, right? Want to put the high guard up, wants to bob and weave his way on the inside. Carlos can box on the outside a little bit, make you miss. Remember that fight he had with Pavekin? I know he got knocked out in that fight, but if you watch that fight, Carlos Takam was looking damn near like James Tony to some degree as far as the way he was moving his head and rolling with punches and coming back with his own right hand, all right? But Takam's going to try to get close. He's going to try to work the body. He's going to try to come over the top with, like I said, left hooks and overhand rights. If he can try to find a way to tie up Makhmadov and walk him backwards a little bit, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to just keep it at a um, arm's reach distance and try to just slug with him or try to just only look for counters. I think you're going to have to wrap Makhmadov up a little bit, fight him dirty on the inside a little bit, walk him back, take away his hooks and right hands by tying up his arms, get him a little bit tired, try to get him windy, even make him... Uh, I'm not, not going to say chase you around the ring, but have to move and make him have to cut the ring off and then slip under punches as he's trying to cut it off and swing with big power punches and try to get on the outside and then come over the top with your own uh, counters, whether it's a right hook or a left hook, depending on which side that Carlos Takam used to try to pivot out of. All right. But just give my impressions, man, of this uh, training footage. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.